Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Life is Strange. Now let's do this. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Well, that was a fucked up ending. For episode three. Let's hope this episode's a lot better. Lovely Square Enix. Bikes. So we're obviously going down the beach. Or we're at the beach, should I say. Don't nod entertainment. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing the Before the Storm game. After this. Right, if we've rewound time and, and, well, and the whales are still there, I thought, I thought the whales wouldn't be there. No, but the whales were there when we got on the bus. When we drove by, we saw the whales up on the beach. Ah, oh, shit. It totally sucks that she's in a wheelchair now. I wonder if we get an explanation of how that happened. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. 
Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off when I flew mm. into a ditch. Do you remember Shit. everything? I saw everything in bullet time. Ah. My back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Oh, that must be horrible. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just oh. read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. I saw her and Rachel's you path did. never crossed. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. I was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, uh, no offense. Hella. None taken. She says that a lot in the... in the other part. Or in the other dimension, or time zone, or whatever they want to call it. Such a shame. I hope there's a way that we can go back and fix this. I wonder if we still got that photo then from uh, where we stopped William. Maybe we have to roll back to that and make sure he takes the keys this time. Chloe's house. Oh, she's in a bedroom at the bottom. Oh, it's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you're here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when Sorry, that's, that's bad. I shouldn't laugh at that. Doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. 
I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? What, not a beer? Oh, look at this, so they got a ramp. Snow globes. Medical ventilator. That must be lifted out of the bed. Picture, window, right, okay, where's the water? <coughs> Cup, there we go, water. Drink up, buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Oh. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god. We covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are they okay? I mean, are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy, <laughs> too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. Huh? Priceless You are price. such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be a hez, not a nez. <laughs> watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, <gasps> I think I'm in Blade like a, Runner. A Blade Runner mood. Amazing movie. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. <laughs> There's oh. the old Chloe. Mouth control joystick computer. Whoa. Chloe can totally control That's her mental. computer. It's so great people get this high tech help. Some makeup. Max, it is so cool that you're here. Right, again. let's go and find I'm a DVD. Let's so. see. Ah, here's there the DVD. We go. Pop that in the DVD player. Let's sit back, relax, and watch Blade Runner. It's one thing I haven't done is watch that new Blade Runner, actually. I'll need to schedule that in at some stage. In between doing these YouTube videos. <laughs> Do 
Oh. What a nice moment. I really hope we get to fix this. <laughs> Danger zone, bathroom area, gas masks optional. <laughs> that should be on my bathroom up here. My wife would totally agree with that. Oh, looks like Max was the one to fall asleep. I cannot believe you fell asleep so oh. fast. Maybe Chloe How did fall asleep. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. <laughs> Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Fuck, um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Right, so let's go and get Chloe this morphine injector. Oh, there's William. This insurance is Billy. Worthless. How's it going, Bill? Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good, or I'd be a scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed, but she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and... All the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. His bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But... But we'll get through it. The price is always right. <laughs> it? No? Being around you and Joyce again is... So nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Right, let's, uh, right. Let's just go. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. You act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Oh, Victoria's sending me messages. 
Right, so, what have we got? Oh god, look at all this. Right, Max, you busy, you busy girl, avoiding homework as usual. I told you I'd help you out. Uh, you never let me help. Okay, drama. Stop and uh, you help... Oh, sorry. Okay, drama. Stop and you help me by caring. I do try. By the way, I scored that killer bud, you know. You know who. FYI. Save me a bowl. Gotta bounce. Come by my room tonight, Max. Are we cool? Just wanted to make sure you walk... Since you walked away so fast, Nathan was worried. If you want to talk, hit me up, Kate. Love you. Max, if you're mad at me, just tell me, Kate. Silence. So, if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. Right, so, all of this stuff up here must be before we kind of transferred into this body after making the changes and then this whole thing that we're not talking to her because she's a bitch. Oh god, we got loads of Chloe. Hello Max, this is William. If you want to contact Chloe, you could use this number. She'd love to hear from you. See you soon, Hope. Bye. Hey Chloe, Maxine here. I know it's been a while. I just wanted to let you know that I'm coming to Blackwell Academy now. I hope uh, this is still your number. Max is back, Blackwell. That's so awesome, you rule. Best of all, we can hang out again. Or hang again. So yes, this is still my number. Cool, I got a buttload of homework, but we'll get together soon. Don't tease me, it's been so long. Been too long, sorry. I know, I'll see you soon. Right, so mum. Don't pound love you. <laughs> Don't forget to water the plant, right, okay. Oh, Alyssa. Hey Max, it's a shame that you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. Alyssa, I saw you throw that toilet paper at me. Oh my god, I was not aiming at you, I swear. Don't do it again. She got hit. Oh no, well, she didn't get hit by toilet paper. We saved her from that. Uh, Taylor. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yada, yada, yada. Right, peace out. Cool. Right, let's get out of here. Right, the reason I, I didn't want to continue talking William is as I don't want to spend like the whole video just on this one area. You know, I'd like to try and continue with the story. Right, so, in other words, I'll just go and find the bathroom, I think. Is that the bathroom? No. Right, so that's where we were before. That was... This should be Chloe's old room, innit? Well, a room in the... With the, with the old Chloe. Hmm. So sad. I hope, I hope, I hope we could go and change it because I don't want to keep it like this. Right. Let's just leave all that just for now. Let's go and get our injector. So I think the bathroom is here. Oh. Can't see, can't see shit. Turn the light on. Hello? Oh no, is the light inside? Ah, oh, the light's inside. Right. Right, so, wonder if it's in the cabinet. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Okay, maybe search here. Nothing here. No. Maybe in this cabinet here. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Search that side. Here right. it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Alright, let's go back downstairs. Go and give this injector to uh, Chloe. Just shoot me now. <laughs> it's alright, William, you'll get your turn. When we go back in time, that's going to be so sad that I'm going to have to, hopefully, hopefully it happens. If I have to go back in time, I should say. Right, so, morphine. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. 
Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Alright, uh, so, she's looking over this way for a photo album. Take that. And let's go and go back to her with this and reminisce over old times. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Banished you? Was he like working Hogwarts or something? <laughs> I banished oh, you. Awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems mm. like yesterday. So that was five years ago. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. Oh yes. Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable oh, fuck. while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying... That being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible. And you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. No, 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 no. Oh, what? Accept, refuse, or I don't know. I can't, I've, I've got to refuse. I can't, I can't kill Chloe off. Refuse. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help no. me out. I am going to help you, but not, not gonna like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe, I am never leaving you again. Come on, let's pick up the picture. And let's go back in time. Focus on the photo. I'm sorry, William. Oh, 
Right. How do we do this again? Do we move the... That's right. Oh. No. There we go. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. And there's the phone call. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Jesus. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe oh. and Max wine tasting session. Burning the pictures so I can't go ever go back. Tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? He's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Oh, that's so sad. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. So this is going to be a change back to the pictures. So, yeah, there's the one at the funeral. Back, back in. So that'll be the marriage, I think. The mother and step douche. That'll be her going to stab him over the birthday cake. <laughs> that must be Chloe's car. Is that her? Is that Chloe and Rachel Amber then? Fingers crossed, all back to normal. It looks like it's back to normal, but... Oh, it looks like a investigation board. Oh, I think it is. Chloe, you're back. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, and now you're all over me? <laughs> I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out, too. Welcome back to the real world. Right, so I think that's where I'm gonna end this video. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. Well thanks for watching another video of Life is Strange. If you liked it, high five the like button, and if you want to see more, be sure to slap the sub button. And last but not least, remember life's a game, so play it well. See you in the next video.